welcome back to my channel. Today is my neighborhood garage sale, which means all the homes in the neighborhood got together and they had a garage sale. Well, I got out there at 6.30 this morning and I'm about to show you all the goodies that I picked up. So let's get started. Ta-da! So the cars are passing by. If you hear the noise, it's too loud. I'm in my driveway. But I got these boxes. They're nice wooden boxes. Very well built. And I got these for a dollar a piece. So I won't have to do anything to these. Uh, just stage them up and they'll be good to go. Next, I grabbed these lampshades. Now, I want to keep this for myself in my living room. I have white ones, but I want the gold ones. Now, this one is a little damaged. So, But I'm just going to hot glue that and that should be just fine. And these were 50 cents each. Next, I have this brass lamp that I grabbed for five dollars. The buy, the seller said make a reasonable offer. I thought five dollars was a reasonable offer. I'm thinking we'll probably keep this in the master bedroom because I do need a lamp on our dresser. But I really like the scale and I like the brass. Then we have this little side table that will look beautiful painted and I got this for two dollars. Next we have this baker's rack. It has the folding shelves. Uh, I do need these for my markets and I have a big market coming up in November. And these are usually like forty dollars on Amazon or at the Hobby Lobby. And I got this one for seven dollars. It's a really nice size. Then we have this screen. It's a nice scale. I think it's beautiful. And I got this one for $5. I'm not going to do anything to this. Just going to clean it up and put it in my shop. Then I got some florals for a dollar a bunch. And it's only three bunches. But there's some good quality florals that just need to be cleaned up with some Dawn Power Wash. And they'll be good to go. Hey buddy, mommy's recording. What you need? Um, Careful, watch the camera. Those are pajamas. That shirt, those are pajamas, baby. No, it's not pajamas. Okay, go ahead. You can wear it. Go find daddy. Make sure you close that door. Next, we have this little vanity bench. Uh, I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to change the upholstery on it. And put Okay, next I got this piece of furniture that's going to go in my hallway under the command center. It was just $10 because it has some wear and tear, but nothing that I can't fix uh, with some wood filler and a new paint job for sure. I'm thinking DIY paint in the color crinoline. And then look at the inside. It has plenty of storage for a hallway, and I really love how slender it is. It will fit perfectly under our command center. And then I got these galvanized wall hangers, uh, wall planters. They already have the hanging spaces, the hanging hardware. Uh, these are really good to go. They're brand new, still in the bags. I have, I don't have to do anything to these. And these were three dollars a piece, and I got five of them. These are going to go. Then we have a candle from Bath and Body Works. This was one dollar. This little beautiful planter uh, with the flowers inside, one dollar. And this little red galvanized. Actually, it looks like enamel. Um, usually $24 at Hobby Lobby. I got this for a dollar along with all the greenery. Now, this is for me. I got a whole bunch of clothing, lots of cardigans, lots of beautiful items for the fall. All of these clothes are brand new, all with the tags, and I got them for a dollar a piece. I think I have like 30 pieces in here. And then at the end, she gave me like a discount, so they were all 25 and then check out these giant tiles. These were five dollars each and I got both of them. And these are probably going to the shop or to my house if I find a space for them. If not, they'll be all for this angel. It's actually a rain gauge uh, holding a test tube with the numbers. So however much it fills up shows you how many inches of rain you're having. And I think, I don't know if I keep her in our garden or sell her. And then we've got a rolling pin for a dollar and 
tea, tea bag holders with initials on them and monograms and these were a quarter each so I couldn't leave them next I got some cowboy boots for Preston they were two dollars each so this whole box is Christmas so we've got I paid a dollar for this pillow 50 cents for this one and a dollar for this one so two dollars and fifty cents for these pillows this will probably be on our front i did get some more decor so this was a dollar and this was a dollar and i really like this arrangement i'm just going to tag it and put it in the shop along with this tree and then that entire box is full of christmas little knickknacks candles and here this and that uh, but everything in that box including the pillows was twelve dollars so next i have a chandelier that i picked up uh, this was ten dollars now either this is going to go in my hallway in my house or it's going to go in my shop uh, not for sale just to add ambience and character so i got a set of dumbbells i'm not pulling them out so let me just take you along so you can see them so that entire set was this entire set of dumbbells was only three dollars so and they come with a carrying cutty so i think this was a good deal Next, I have this lamp. I'm definitely keeping this one. I really like it. And this one was $5. And this one's going to go on my nightstand in the mat. This is a set of teacups by Lamage. And so I got the entire set of teacups with the creamer and the sugar bowl all for $7. And then this was a dollar, but I didn't have any cash. I was paying electronically, and the lady didn't want to bother with it for just a dollar. So she let me keep it. <laughs> I also picked up three picture frames at a dollar each. They're a nice size and I'll probably sell these or use them if I need to. And so that includes everything. That concludes everything that I have on this trip. I do have some other pieces that I purchased but I couldn't pick up because I had no room. So now that I've emptied, I can go back and pick them up. I have a vanity that is painted. It's just going to need to be distressed and it'll be ready to go. And I also bought a Mustang for Preston. Well, his dad bought a Mustang. Um, to replace his uh, bands because the battery is going out on that one. So overall, it's been a good day, a good productive day. It took me four hours to go through all of this, um, to make all the trips, but it was productive and I'm glad that I went.